Hi, I'm Lisa Draghi. I'm a dermatologist and assistant uh, professor of dermatology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm the senior author of a study entitled Increased Incidence of Cutaneous Non-Tuberculous Mycobacteria 1980 to 2009, a population-based study. This study is going to come out in the Mayo Clinic proceedings in January of 2013. First author is a Mayo medical student, Ms. Ashley Wentworth. Uh, Co-authors include my colleagues, Dr. Nancy Wanganek from the Division of Clinical Microbiology, uh, Dr. John Wilson from the Division of Infectious Diseases, and Ms. Christine Los, who provided uh, statistical support. We originally pursued this study because we were finding that more and more of our patients at the Mayo Clinic were developing these unusual infections. Um, we'd also seen that there were more cases and more outbreaks being reported in the worldwide literature. We were seeing more uh, types of species and, um, for instance, when I uh, first started in dermatology 20 years ago, I was seeing slow-growing mycobacterium, such as Mycobacterium marinum, but more recently I'd seen more rapidly growing mycobacterium. We used the Rochester Epidemiology Project to substantiate this increased incidence and change in species. Um, this is an amazing database um, where we're able to um, pull all the cases of infection throughout Olmstead County over the course of decades. So it's really a powerful epidemiologic tool. Our study showed that over the course of 30 years, from 1980 to 2009, we saw an increased incidence of cutaneous non-tuberculous mycobacterium. This was a nearly a three-fold increase. We also saw in the last decade of our study um, more of the rapidly growing mycobacterium, such as mycobacterium abscessus, mycobacterium chelonii, and mycobacterium fortuitum. Thus, all healthcare providers are more likely than ever to see these infections. In our study, we saw um, most of the cases occur on the distal extremities, and we saw highly variable clinical presentation. We saw abscesses, we saw cellulitis, dermatitis, folliculitis. So if your patient has an uh, infection, especially if it's occurring um, after a traumatic incidence, a cosmetic procedure, or a surgery, and it's not responding to typical antimicrobial therapy, consider uh, a non-tuberculous bacterium in your differential. Our uh, patients all responded very well to therapy, but uh, we need to do further study into what are the best forms of therapies. For instance, um, surgery, medical therapy, or a combination of the two. Um, certainly, we need to do more research into this particular aspect, including um, the length of therapy. Skin and soft tissue infections caused by um, cutaneous non-tuberculous mycobacteria are increasing in incidence. Our study found a three-fold rise. All healthcare professionals need to be aware of this because we're going to be seeing more of these cases in the future. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.